Hello friends, if you're struggling with acid reflux, then this video will help you because we're talking about the best types of food to eat. The very first category are high fiber foods. So things like green vegetables, things like asparagus, broccoli, kale, green beans. Also root vegetables are very good. So we could talk about carrots, sweet potatoes, and beets. Don't also forget whole grains, so your oatmeal and your brown rice. When you've got high fiber, it makes us feel full a little bit quicker, which reduces the amount of overeating that we do and in turn, it helps reduce acid reflux. The next category are watery foods or alkaline foods. Because your stomach is acidic, anything that waters it down or neutralizes it can be useful. So we're talking about things like celery, which has a lot of water, watermelon, hence the name, water, bananas, which also have good fiber levels, also fennel seeds and nuts. And let's not forget everybody's favorite vegetable, the cauliflower, low in fat, low in sugar, good for you. Except I've never actually met anybody who loves cauliflower. So if that's you, please give me a shout in the comments. Please, why? Why are you like this? As Michael Scott would say. Why are you the way that you are? The next category are yogurts and they have probiotic effects, which are fantastic for your gut bacteria. You see, there's this area of our digestive system that has loads of bacteria that are friendly. And I think over the next 10 years, there's gonna be a huge amount of research and we're gonna find out that so many conditions and diseases could be due to an imbalance of these gut bacteria. Things like mental health problems, IBS, things like that. Yogurts can also have a cooling effect, especially useful if you have acid reflux, but also make sure you don't have sour yogurts, flavored yogurts, or any fatty yogurts. These can make acid reflux worse. Number four is lean meat. So we're talking about skinless chicken, lean beef. We're talking about oven baked salmon, things that are low in fat. Remember fatty foods and especially fatty meats can spend more time in your stomach. That delays gastric emptying, which can be a cause of acid reflux. If you have to have meat in your diet, make sure it's low in fat. And lastly, this one is more about a preparation style rather than a type of food. It's about how you cook your food rather than frying or deep frying your food. Hello, KFC. Um, we're talking about things that can be healthy ways of cooking. So we're talking about steaming, we're talking about baking your foods, and these can reduce your chance of acid reflux if you incorporate it into your diet. That video about the diet to avoid for acid reflux will be up next. Thank you for joining me today. If you have any questions, I'm always in the comments, so drop me a shout. Thank you for liking this. Thank you for subscribing, even though you haven't. A little bit of reverse psychology. You're a wizard, Harry. Thank you very much. Have a wonderful day. Peace out.